Hey guys, Lance here from the MTG Lance channel. Let's get in I'm sorry to say, but tomorrow is going to be the day when the vlog comes out. I know it's going to be a day behind, but I said I would do weekly vlogs, so it's still going to be in a week that I do it. So I'm going to try to keep those on a daily schedule. This week I can't do it, but I think I finally came down with my Bant Heroic deck. Uh, the blue is a bit low on here, but I'm fine with that. It's pretty much the blues coming in for Aqueous Form and uh, Simic Charm. Nothing really else is blue. I had some other blue cards in here, like Azorius Charm. And uh, I like the charms in the deck. They really work out. There's not a really a whole bunch of good blue spells, besides maybe a few, like the one that gives them uh, protection from creatures, but that's an instant. And the Trident Tactics, which gives creatures a boost and untaps them. The thing is, is with these, uh, what I think about the charms is I could always bring down God's Willing by one and be just fine in adding a Simic Charm. And the reason why I say that is because this gives Hexproof to all permanents. Yes, this gives them protection from a color, meaning if they go with a big creature, you can always use it in that in that way. Um, don't mind the mana, I'm still not done with that. But we're going to talk about it. The reason why I am not running a uh, Iliadon of Countless Battles is I think it's too inconsistent. And in this format, you want consistency. I will try testing it in and out for a uh, favored hero. And or two of a few of them maybe maybe take out a God's Willing and just you know just change this up a bit. But the reason why I say that is there's so much removal in the set. Even if I do have tons of protection, there's a point where something's going to get removed. And if that's on there, it's going to be very weak when it's on a creature and only has a few enchantments on it and comes down as a one one. Or it, it's only going to boost up a creature a little bit by maybe plus two plus three for a three three. Yes, it's a bestow cost that you can put on turn three and make a huge creature with, but the bes uh, it's a bit slow, in my opinion. Boon Seder, you always know what you're going to get is a four pl plus four plus two. You can do it at the end of the turn and not worry about it. Your opponent taps out on their turn by putting a Desecration Demon. Sweet, I'll put my bestow creature on because I have Hero of Iros as I on the end of your turn. You give it plus four, plus two, and give it a one-one counter. See, the thing is, is that's always consistent. It's going to be consistently a okay. And the thing about these uh, heroic creatures, or bestow creatures, I think, is even if you have... I, I kind of still debating about countless battles because the fact is, is there's so much removal in the set, if something does get destroyed, you will still have something in return for it. So yeah, they'll pretty much get a one for two, one for one, but you still have a creature on the board. The same thing with Supreme Verdict is... If you have bestowed creatures, it's okay because you still have a creature in play when their board is empty. So I'm still debating with countless battles, but I think I'm going to leave it as this for now. Maybe edit one of the fabled heroes down to one and take out uh, hmm, God's Willing to add two of them, just so I have another few. Uh, now we're going to talk about my protection spells. None of these really have protection except uh, Favorite Hoplite, which I really like as a turn one booster because what happens there is you can easily make it so no damage is dealt to it, meaning Death Touch doesn't work in other strong abilities and making this very big and very quickly. Um, Hero Virosis makes even the aggro even more quickly, and this is just kind of a finisher of Heroic. It's okay to have it late game or not even play it at all. Um, talking more about protection here is uh, Alpha Authority. I'm playing a 4 of in here due to the fact that removal is so high and there's so much going on here that this just makes it have Hexproof, meaning their stuff can't touch yours unless they have a huge board wipe which blue white control does have and is actually starting to make an impact but this makes it hard for black removal to do anything about your big creatures because now they have hexproof um aqueous form just evasion and then letting you scry into other stuff is very useful aether armor this one i've been debating back back and forth because this is one is also very debatable if it gets big or not because it's for each enchantment you control and it has first strike yes it still has the benefit of first strike which change combat which is very good but the thing is, plus one, plus one, that's all it's going to get, and you're always for sure about that. Same thing with the Iliadon, you get plus two, plus two when it's on a creature, no matter what, for two more mana, and then it can get very big, it can get even bigger. But so can this, so it's always debatable between the two. Um, but this one doesn't, after the fact, become a creature if you have a board wipe and other stuff like that. There's instances where I don't know if I should have this or the other one. Uh, and Flinching Courage... Is v I know I said I was going to talk about the protection spells, but I'm just going to go through it. Unflinching Courage is very good. I kind of want to play four of, but I kind of don't at the same time. Because um, this is very good. If you think about it, giving it plus two, plus two, trample, and lifelink for three mana is very, very powerful. You put this on turn uh, 
three with this guy, you now have a what? Puts a one one counter on it, so it is a two three. Plus two plus two is meaning it is a four five. Trample, life link, and damage can't be dealt to it on turn three. And that's very strong. This is very, very good because it gives you that life swing and gives you over the damage and it gets a bonus of getting plus two plus two and it targets it. We can get a one one counter and these all get counters. So that's very good. Uh, I'm going to skip Elizabeth because that's the, our finisher here. God's willing, one white target creature you control gains protection from color of your choice to then turn and scry one. Um, this is good for the removal. Uh, I really don't like this as much as I like Alpha Authority due to the fact this goes on the actual creature and you don't have to worry about it getting targeted at all. Uh, this makes it protection from colors, meaning it just damage can't be dealt, all that other stuff. But this one's this one's a little bit less optional, and this one's always optional. Okay, Heroes Downfall, okay, protection from black. This one, it has other problems with it. Um, it's not overly good, but in the deck of Heroic, it needs it. And which is kind of sad because you you wish you didn't need that protection like that, but you do in this deck. I'd rather be running a Simic Charm to be honest, or in a, in a more Alpha Authorities if I could, because the fact is, is yes they have all gain hexproof, but God's willing has more versatile when it comes to actual damage. Next is Celestia Charm. This is probably the best charm in the deck due to the fact of what it can do and how impactful this is on the current meta. No, it's going to move out soon, so just keep that in mind. A target creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and gains trample until the end of the turn. If a creature doesn't have trample, and you just need that extra boost of damage, you need one more counter, so it's probably going to get plus 3, plus 3 for 2 mana. Um, gives you that extra damage state. Next one is one that really doesn't get a lot of noticing, but is very good right now in this format. And that is Exile Target Creature with power 5 or greater. The thing is, is any god that is actually becomes a creature and is swinging in, like, let's say they go aggro with Mogus, they go... Thassa, guess what? It is exiled, meaning the indestructible ability kind of just disappears, and it gets exiled, not destroyed. Meaning this takes care of gods, and it takes care of every god, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think it takes care of most, if not all of them. Well, the more considerable ones. Also takes down a Desecration Demon on turn 4 for 2 mana, which is very, very powerful, meaning you just take care of their big threats very quickly, and you don't have to worry about them because they're gone. Um, and then putting a 2-2 white ninth creature token with Vigilance on the battlefield, if somehow they're able to board wipe you and you just can't do anything about it by having Boon Seder on something, or you just you just can't simply do anything about it because they're just getting all destroyed. Um, Simic Charm, okay, at the end of your turn, I'll give it, I'll put a 2-2 white knight creature token with Vigilance on the battlefield, and it's my go. Guess what? They have no board, but you do. You have a 2-2 creature which is very significant in this format. It means, okay, you may think you postponed me, but guess what? I still have a board. I still have a Boon Seder with a 2-2, meaning I'm swinging for 6 next turn. And you have nothing you can do about it because you got rid of everything else on turn 4. This makes it very, very good. I like it a lot. I'm still thinking about taking out God's Willing and see how it does without it and adding two of these and two of these to the deck. Or, yeah, maybe. I think I would add a Boon Seder, actually. Or a... Go... Do, 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 here, I would take out four. Go one here, one here. So three, three. And then add in two uh, Elidons, making more heroic stuff if I took out God's Willing. I really do think God's Willing is kind of weaker in the deck. But I'm still debating on it. I need to play test it and see if it actually is more debatable to keep it in than having stuff that has hexproof instead of protection. But I'm thinking about it, you pretty much right here have six protection cards of hexproof. And after a board state, you have, what, five ways of dealing after turn, uh, after board wipe effects. I'd rather have that be a little bit higher due to the fact that blue white is becoming a thing and at there it's very competitive so it's a, that's always a thing see but the thing is as soon as uh return of ravna comes out meaning simic charms and uh silencia charm is gone meaning a huge a good card in this deck goes away um in aether armor i'll probably bet put it in battle of uh whatever maybe azori's charm just to give that balance and more control over the board and draw state and then add more simic charms and all that good stuff, and maybe bring back God's Willing. The lands, of course, going to be whatever I figure out what needs to be powered. It's going to be more white, more green, and then, like, more white, a little less green, and then a lot less blue. 
for now. And then we have Elizabeth in here, Sun's Champion, and the fact is, this is a huge just winner. If it hits the battlefield, it's kind of hard to take care of due to the fact I have Simic Charm. Oh, you're going to do Hero's Downfall for three? No, I give it Hexproof. Great, have fun with that. Yay, we're all happy. So yeah, just kind of, that's another reason why I really like Simic Charm is it's not creature, just permanence you control have Hexproof until the turn, meaning you're Planeswalkers, which is very, very good. Um, which a lot of the charms, you guys, I don't think a lot of people realize what they do and how versatile these are for many situations, especially in these heroic decks. They make it so, okay, you have a board state of a huge creature and I don't have any way to take care of it, I'll bounce it back to your hand. Zorg is trying to put it on top of the library, but it has to attack. Let's say they put down a Aetherling without the extra blue because they're stupid, or they just have to do it because they have to have board presence. Just boom, it returns. You don't have to worry about attacking, you just bounce it back. No big deal. And it's so versatile, because it's high removal. Guess what? No, I have a Hexproof. Oh, you're going to bring out big creatures? I'm going to bounce them back. Make you have to spend even more mana and take an extra turn on it. Just, it's, they're very versatile, and they work very good. Elizabeth, just, it's great. Destroy all creatures with power 4 or greater. It's like Silencia Charm, except better, because it's all and it's 4. And then just putting one once onto the field is just board state. Okay, you're going to get rid of my hero creature. Fine, I got all these one ones. No big deal. And that's the thing. Once you get her out, if you haven't won by these crazy creatures, and I have Oreo in here because he's just a very good three drop, very versatile. I'm still debating to have, have him in or not. And if he works in the deck, creating one ones, just still having a board presence, even if they high really high, have, ugh, have high removal of your hero creatures, you still have this. Um, so it's very debatable of how to change this and make it work. It's 60 cards, I believe. Yeah. Without the mana mana in there, it's about $83. But if you look at the mana here, zero turn, not going to have anything. But one turn, you're going to have a lot. Two turn, you're going to have a little less. Three turn, you're going to... See how it's blue? Yes. And then very... So blue is going to be a little bit less, unless I decide to add more Simic Charms or Azorius Charms, which I might because how versatile they are. And then you got a six drop. No four or five drops, because you would be rather adding more stuff to it or playing more creatures again and boosting those up more. So, and essentially that's a five drop if you don't have Hero Viroses out, which is fine. And Battle Light, not Battle Light, the Countless Battles is pretty much a four drop if you don't have them out either. So, it, it kind of does curve out a little bit. It's very aggro-ish, very Bant-ish. needs more blue in it, I think. And it's very heavy on white because Heroic has very good white cards so the deck is still in a lot of changing let me know what you guys think needs to be changed or added and what do you think I should add or take out is a better way of saying it um so yeah I actually have a lot of these cards I have four gods willing I don't have any Silencia charms so I gotta buy those Simic charms I have two of and I actually have probably four of them I'm Flinch Courage I got two of I have three of those I have three of those I have four of those I don't have any of those nope one nope nope two so I need the actual heroic stuff more than anything else and the land. But actually, I have a good amount of this deck, so it's going to be very cheap for me to make and actually start working with it. Um, and I do move from deck to deck. I thought Simic was going to be good, but they didn't really do anything in this set. So you kind of got to wait until the next set comes out before Simic actually makes a real big impact, if it will. Uh, Bant Heroic, though, I think is a lot better than just green white heroic because it gives you the possibilities of simic charm and aqueous form which makes it so it's unblockable which is a high great way of uh, evasion making it so they can't block it at all and just scrying every turn and then having simic charm doing so much work on the board and then azorius charm getting you that card draw and bouncing creatures the the lifelink isn't very important because there's unflinching courage and just lifelink isn't a huge deal. And so, yeah, well, let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is a longer video, but I edited it before. I made a video and then changed it and then posted this one because this one's a lot better. So let me know what you guys think. I'll be doing the vlog tomorrow, actually. So sorry about that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is actually my uh, new tapped out account so then I can actually post videos here. So I'll leave this link in the description below and hope you guys enjoy. See you guys later. Peace.